Hey everyone, my name is Grant Buchanan. I'm the Encore Specialist for Jaguar Land Rover Bluff City. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at the remote start for this 2019 Range Rover Velar. This feature is available on any of our models, both Jaguar and Land Rover, 2017 through 2020. So if you don't already, take a quick second and go to the App Store and type in Land Rover in Control Remote. Give it a free download. If you don't already have an account set up with us, give me a call at this number below and I'm more than happy to set it up with you through the phone. So let's take a quick look. So at the top of your screen here, you're going to see your fuel, range, and odometer. You're also going to see the outside temperature. And right underneath that, you're going to see a little tab here that says, for us, it says vehicle not locked. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a push. Once you have your account set up, you're going to create a four-digit PIN number. So anytime you want to lock, unlock, or start the engine, you got to type in these four numbers. So we're going to go in here. We're going to lock the car. We're going to type in our PIN number. What it does is it sends a signal through AT&T from your smartphone to the car. So location doesn't really matter in this case. You can be three hours away and it's still going to lock. In this case, we're fairly close. But it doesn't matter where you are. You can be inside. You can be at work. It's totally dependent on what kind of signal you have on your phone at the time and how clear of a view the car has when you're locking it or starting it. So also on this page, you're going to see a list below. Anything highlighted yellow on this list simply means that it's open, such as the windows or the sunroof, and it's not going to allow you to start the engine if one of those is open. The last thing we have on our front page is this tab at the bottom that says directions to your vehicle. If you give it a push, it's going to take it over to Apple Maps where you're going to get walking directions from wherever you are to where the car is. Lastly, on the second page, we're actually going to start the engine. So what we're going to do, we can go ahead and set the temperature we want the car to be so we can go ahead and cool it off. I'm going to set it at 60 in this case. We're going to hit save. We're going to step back, hit start, type in our PIN number, and we're going to give it about 20 seconds to send the signal over from our phone to the engine. By chance you needed to do something else inside and you weren't able to get out to the car what you're going to do is that button now says stop you're going to push it and within just five seconds the engine will turn off all right so that's pretty much it if you have any questions just give me a call at this number listed below if you purchase it from here in memphis i'm more than happy to set it up with you through the phone give me a call if you've got any questions